I interviewed uh, Rex Chapman, mm -hmm. the NBA player, mm -hmm. who, who was friends Charlotte. with Jordan. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly, Charlotte. And what he said was interesting, which I never really thought about, where he says the one thing that people don't really talk about with Jordan is how obscenely huge his hands are. You and Michael Jordan were continuing your relationship. And uh, one of the things that you mentioned, which I haven't heard before, was that people don't don't mention with Jordan is his hands. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. It's, he has huge, huge hands. Yeah, see, I don't know why that doesn't lead every conversation about him. It's the most, well, yeah, it's the most unique thing ever. It, it, playing basketball, look, I always say this, if a shot goes up and it glances off the rim and it's going toward the corner and five of you guys are going after it, four of you are definitely going after it with two hands because it's the ball's going away from you. You got it. If you can, as the ball's going away from you, reach out and grab it with one hand and suck it back all in one motion and be gone the other direction, you're playing an entirely different game. Michael picked, picked the ball up off the floor and gra grabbed it, dunks it like it's a grapefruit. The ball is like a grapefruit in his hand, not a basketball, not a volleyball. It's almost like a grapefruit, softball maybe. It's that big. And the fact that he was able to become a shooter, the fir his first few years when I played against him, he couldn't shoot. Like, it, I, I don't mean that. Like, that was what you allowed him to do because he could do everything else. You made him shoot. And if and he'd still get by you, but that he was able to hone in later on and become a really a great shooter is one of the most amazing things ever. Try shooting a try shooting a softball sometimes and see how that feels because it's 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 weird. Kawhi type hands, yeah, mm -hmm. where basically he could catch a rebound off the backboard and just grab it like a grapefruit and mm -hmm. just make it change direction. Like yeah. most players would just try to you know, tip it or something. He could actually grab the entire ball in the air and change the whole trajectory of the ball. Like, like you have big hands. Mm -hmm. his are hands his hands are... way bigger than yours? Yes. Really? Yep. So can you palm a basketball mm -hmm. and his hands are way bigger than yours? Way bigger than mine. That's an advantage. It's a huge advantage. Like, this is how I, like when people ask me, like, will Jordan, will Jordan compete in today's games? And I say, listen, all, for the most part, all greats can compete in any era. That's what makes them greats, right? That's what makes them greats, right? You talk about um, Kareem. Yes, with the technology today, and he has to change his attributes, unless it's just a defensive player, but a guy who has a, a skill, yeah, right? Yes, he will be effective. He will learn how to be effective, right? Um, now, the only people that will have trouble adjusting is the one-trick ponies, meaning they're only good at this one thing. Like, oh, he can only rebound. Well, yeah, it would be hard for him to translate in today's game because we're not one-trick ponies anymore. You know, most of these guys have four or five skills that they're, you know, we're looking for the guys now that can score, shoot, Pass, rebound, steal the ball, deflect the ball. Th those, those are the type of guys that are being put into today's game. So, for the most part, all the greats, they they can transition through it. Especially if you use new technology <laughs> to enhance their. <laughs> but like, yeah, Jordan's hands was really big. Dr. J's hands is really big. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard's hands are big, and that's usually keys. Yeah. Get your hands on loose balls, or they give you they give you a slight advantage. Now with his jumping ability, his fast twitch muscles, his mind. Oh yeah, no, that's the biggest. Th this this is the most important yeah, thing. Everyone always said, including Rex Chapman, that his level of wanting to win, competitiveness, is like nothing he's ever seen. He will play you, you know, on a. Remember, he got busted for uh, for betting on uh, golf games. Yeah. I interviewed the guy who he got busted with. Yeah. He wants to win at everything. He wants to win. If he's flipping coins with a security guard, he wants that dollar that he just won. You, you, he'll sit there and wait for it. You know, you know what? Now, this is this is like a it's it's a 
a weird, bold take. Okay, I'm ready for this. Let me grab my popcorn. Mines, you know how they say he... And you played with Jordan. No, played against him. But played with him in Jordan camp. In Jordan camp. So well, Okay, yeah, yeah, because he was leaving as you yeah. were coming in. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I've, I have studied those type of minds, right? Mm-hmm. You know how they say they're they're winners, right? They win. Their win is individual success, right? These minds are individual success. It's hmm. me. It's my determination. My and they have to have someone behind them smart enough to understand how to put teams around the minds for them to be winners in life. Because think about when you're saying gambling on golf, that's individual. Gambling. When you hear about Jordan gambling, right, it's, it's individual things that he can win because it's just his work ethic. Where you compromise him is when you add more pieces around that he can't control them. He can't in, yeah. put my brain, you need to work out. So what happens is someone has to be smart enough behind these men to give them the right type of players for their ability to be shown in a team sport, huh? right? Because the minds are selfish individually people. They're, they're, it's them. It's their yeah. success. It's their winning. It's them, 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 them. It's all I, mm. right? 